Hi guys. It is a gloomy but at least somewhat warm day here in the end times in what's left of the paradise of St. Simon's Island, Georgia. Here on this uh, gray yuck paper mill stink infused day in the end times Tuesday morning January 23rd. 2018, I think it's January 23rd. Anyway, somewhere around there. So, I guess this has just become my new Tuesday rant, where each Tuesday, well, I, I do this every day, but I just uh, to, to, to show you how the the hambone brain works. I just go on to the headlines of the mainstream media, particularly on Tuesday, paying attention to the science pages which, uh, as I pointed out, sound more and more like the onion every day. It is getting harder and harder to tell the difference as 2018 unfolds here in the end times. The difference between the mainstream media and the onion, I'm actually going to do this rant at some point soon. I'm going to get a copy of the onion and the, the, then I'm going to get a copy of the mainstream media science pages. I'm going to read 10 headlines from the mainstream media science pages and 10 headlines from the onion and challenge any of you to be able to tell me, you know, which ones are which. So we're going to start out on the science pages on just another average Tuesday in the end times. In, here in the 21st century. And then we'll go from there on just to the main headlines. And so, of course, when you read the mainstream media headlines, you need to have two things, the bullshit detector button and the no shit Sherlock button. Uh, and of course, what do you think the number one story on the goddamn science pages is, is the government shutdown. Okay, here is some big ass uh, volcano in the Philippines exploding. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. I don't know, again, I don't know what this has to do with science, but it sure as shit has to do with the end times as the Battle of Armageddon. Uh, takes another step forward as good old Vice President Michael Pence, who hopefully, and, and I can't believe I'm finding myself, hopefully will be President Michael Pence in the year 2019. U.S. will move embassy to Jerusalem in 2019, Pence says in Israel. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, another coverage of this. Pence stomps from the conservative review. Pence stomps the gas pedal on State Department's slow roll to Jerusalem. Bring on the uh, Battle of Armageddon. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Rocket launched in New Zealand deploys commercial satellites. Oops. I'm sorry. I got to keep track of my own, uh, my, my own, uh, my own, uh, buttons here. Go to Mexico with over 29,000 homicides. 2017 was Mexico's most violent year on record from 29,000 people being gunned down in Mexico last year. Here's several articles on uh, what's left of the Great Barrier Reef being just absolutely taken over by these goddamn predatory starfish. 
uh, you know, just the last gasp of a dying ecosystem. Uh, what's on the minds of Martha Stewart? I will talk more about this tomorrow. Martha, Martha Stewart thinks a global seed vault could save us from global warming. Come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. If the apocalypse hits tomorrow, Martha Stewart is confident we will be prepared. I love this one for my Saturday uh, clueless moron rant uh, about. Let's go over to the the global uh, cruise line industry. Separate, two separate Carnival cruise line accidents see one passenger dead and another passenger missing and obviously dead. Well, I just, uh, I, I titled one of my rants yesterday about how this uh, oil spill uh, in China has completely disappeared from the mainstream media. And here we have uh, three articles on the science pages, so I guess I can uh, eat a little bit of crew, crew eat a little bit of crew. A little bit of crude. There you go. Uh, many versions of this story, uh, such as the one from the Guardian about how this oil slick has tripled in size, tripled in size over the last week. Uh, anyway, I, I can't. I can't stop at any one of these. I love this one from Fortune magazine. <clears throat> Fear of an AI apocalypse is distracting us from the real task at hand. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, I'm not sure what the real task at hand is he's talking about, uh, but my guess it is not the real task of of reducing the population of this planet by 90 percent. Okay, all of this stuff about Donald Trump heading to Davos, Switzerland. I'll have more about that. The old, uh, anyway, enough of that shit already. Okay, we have the drone racing Finals. Contestants from all over the world competed in the Challengers Cup to see who is the best drone racer. And it looks like about an 11 year old clueless fucking moron uh, that they're interviewing there. Here is about an article from Newsweek about killer centipede killer centipedes if you thought the, the good god from killer centipedes to the super bowl what could happen to make this finally the most exciting super bowl in history from cbs sports cbs sports on the science pages of yeah, who knows? Potentially hazardous asteroid hurtling toward the Earth could pass during Super Bowl. Hopefully, the asteroid will hit the Super Bowl. I am proud to say I have no clue either team in the Super Bowl, if, if Regis Philbin or Ed McMahon or whoever were to walk through that door right now and say, Hambone, I will give you $10 million to tell me the two teams in the Super Bowl this year, I would say, you just have to keep your $10 million 
because I have no fucking clue who is in the Super Bowl, and I hope to hell a fucking asteroid slams in to the stadium, and at least we could uh, get rid of about 100,000 clueless fucking morons off of this planet. This is one of the few rants where I agree with, this is one of the few areas where Alex Jones, Noam Chomsky, and Hambone Littletail weigh in the same. Anyway, from the Super Bowl, here are more stories. I mentioned this yesterday about Amazon's first checkout free grocery store, otherwise known as Human Employee Free Grocery Store. All right, well, good old Highway 101 is back open for gas sucking cars. Those pesky mudslides have been moved away from those pesky no longer mudslides. Okay, what is the update on, on this clueless moron? Mad Mike Hughes, man who hopes to prove the earth is flat in his homemade rocket has a new launch date. We'll have to, uh, I'll have to go on to the story to find out when that is. Okay, of course, this was my lead-off story in my economic meltdown roundup rant, the number one economic story of the week. 82% of the wealth generated last year went to the richest 1% of the global population. No shit, Sherlock. So, you know, 42 people now, uh, n now have the same amount of wealth of 3.7 billion people. Yep, yep. Here we go. Can thorium reactors dispose of weapons grade plutonium. Thorium reactors have long been proposed as a cleaner, safer alternative to conventional nuclear energy. Okay. What is on the minds of man of Ann Curry? We are all living through a moment that will make history. No, Ann, we are all living or dying through a moment that will end history. You're almost there, Ann. You, you, you kind of get it, Ann. You kind of get it. <sighs> How about this one? Gets right to the point. Trust me, I'm a robot. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a robot. In all the singularity-based angst over whether robots are going to take over humans, few have considered the human qualities that might allow our silicon cousins to prevail. From those trusty robots to the newest breakthrough in physics, Sound tornadoes can levitate humans with new acoustic tractor beam. All right, I was just talking uh, with my cousin here on St. Simon's Island about how the, these goddamn uh, one percenters with their mansions uh, down there on the beach who just got uh, their pretty little decks destroyed. Uh, in the latest hurricane uh, a few months ago are rebuilding all of their decks. So the next 
hurricane can knock it over. And it is the U.S. taxpayers uh, subsidizing the, these multi-millionaires to, to rebuild their decks over and over and over again. Uh, you know, keeping Home Depot the best stock option of the end times. And here we go. How taxpayer money could end up paying for rich people to go to space. No shit, Sherlock. But you know, the more I think about uh, this, I think that is the highest and best use of our tax money. I, I think what we need to do is, is round up these 42 motherfuckers who own uh, the same amount of wealth as the bottom one half of the planet's population, put them on a fucking Elon Musk rocket ship, blast the motherfuckers into space. I think that is an excellent use of U.S. taxpayer money. Okay. The UK's new Minister of Loneliness to Minister of Loneliness to battle, quote, a poison to humans. This is how bad loneliness has gotten. The UK now has a Minister of Loneliness. To you, how many times have we gone through this question? Have scientists discovered the city of Atlantis? Guys, the, the, the city of Atlantis is, is spread out over the... What did, did Graham Hancock... What, what did his, has he showed us that during the last big surge in sea level rise, that about 10 million square miles of coastal real estate went under the water 12,000 years ago and the city of Atlantis is actually 10 million square miles of Atlantis all over the planet. Anyway, I don't have time to get into that rant. Uh, Quartz Magazine, I guess this is that Super Bowl asteroid. <clears throat> Will this potentially hazardous asteroid hit the Earth? And I absolutely love this, this uh, headline from Inverse. The uh, hell yes, this could be the headline uh, of the week. Heartbreaking asteroid will miss the Earth next month. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Here is the Genesis 2.0 film review. Uh, okay, uh, I don't even have time to start there. Again, guys, you cannot. This would be one of the headlines if I was if I was doing uh, my my science page onion challenge. Uh, well, of course, the heartbreaking uh, the asteroid will miss the Earth. Headline would be there, but try to wrap your head around around this one. Uh, morality algorithm. Morality algorithm lets machines cooperate and compromise better than humans. My cousin was just pointing out that she thinks the word of the year for the for 2018 should be algorithm. Yes. Uh, well, we were just talking about how taxpayers will foot the bill for sending all of these one percenters into space. 
And now we have Forbes magazine uh, weighing in with the headline, How Foreigners Will Pay As China Gains in the Space Race. There you go. Uh, eager to secure its hold as a as a as the dominant world economic player, China is shopping out its first mid-sized commercial airliner now. And last year, it developed several advanced pieces of weaponry, and now they're getting into the space race. Uh, good. All right, this is certainly one for the science pages. There is another royal wedding this year. Here is another royal wedding alert. From royal weddings to CRISPR gene editing may have just become a whole lot more accurate. All right. Uh, how about this? The next generation of cameras might see behind walls. You might already be really pleased with the camera technology in your latest smartphone which can recognize your face. I am so glad you're already pleased with your smartphone face recognition technology and now you will be able to recognize your face on the other side of a wall and anybody else will also be able to recognize your face on the other side of a wall. Here is the newest research about the multiverse madness. The multiverse madness. Here is the latest update from the Washington Post about NASA blasting, spending millions of dollars of taxpayers' money to blast a spacecraft into the sun. Okay, I have no idea what this could mean. Dark Energy Survey finds new stellar streams infiltrating the Milky Way galaxy. Many stories on the science pages. I have no idea what the SAG awards are. The SAG awards. Oh, the Screen Actors Guild Awards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six stories on the Screen Actors Guild Award. The number one leadoff story from Time Magazine. No one on Earth, no one on Earth can deal with Susan Sarandon rolling up to the SAG Awards in sunglasses. Here is the science pages ad. This is the Scientific American asking the question, is the golden age of astronomy nearly over? The answer to the question is yes, the golden age of astronomy is nearly over because the golden age of everything is nearly over. Three more stories on the SAG Awards. Finally, we get to uh, Donald Trump making good on a, uh, on a campaign promise. We'll talk about this more tomorrow as Donald Trump slaps a 30% tariff on solar panels, you know, made in other countries. 30% uh, tariff on solar panels. We will get to this story tomorrow from The Guardian. 
Canadian climate science faces crisis that may be felt globally, scientists warn. More stories on Hong Kong being engulfed in smog this week. Uh, in three stories that we will get into tomorrow. It's going to be a busy climate change meltdown roundup rant. All three of these stories, I'm just going to read the headlines now. <clears throat> if we start deliberately cooling the earth, we may not be able to stop. Blasting aerosols into the sky to reverse climate change seems like an exciting proposition, but it may be too dangerous to attempt. Because if we try and then suddenly halt this form of geoengineering, it could cause more damage than climate change itself, according to new research. No shit, Sherlock. And we have puzzling heat from deep inside the earth is melting Greenland's glaciers. And from Business Insider, your burger habit could be under threat. We will get to all those stories tomorrow, but the final story on the science pages today, why most scientists do not care about these incredible UFO videos. The reason scientists don't care is because scientists have no interest in the subject of UFOs. Moving to the mainstreams, just go over to the main page. Of course, the number one story on the planet here in the end times. DACA, DACA Dreamers. Come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Let's go from DACA Dreamers to Facebook. Facebook admits it is a threat to democracy. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, many stories on uh, the, this, this torture chamber with these 13 kids uh, by these clueless fucking moron religious fanatics in, uh, in California. Uh, just unbelievable. Uh, talking about a case for forced sterilization. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in your living room, skydiver dies after crashing through roof of California home. Uh, all right, good for Mike Pence. Uh, Mike Pence defends Trump's racist shithole comments. There you go. As I do. That is exactly what those uh, countries are. Okay, I guess there was some 8.2 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Alaska, but I guess no tsunami this time. I'm skipping over a lot of the Trump shit. Uh, okay, from, uh, I'm sure you've heard it from Oklahoma, frantic search for missing workers after oil rig explodes. Authorities say five people are still missing after a fiery explosion at an oil and natural gas drilling site in Oklahoma. Yeah, did you hear this hilarious story? And I know exactly. You gotta feel sorry for this guy. 
You, you know, you remember that that false missile alert from uh, that false missile nuclear incoming nuclear missile alert in Hawaii last week, and why it took like was it twenty or thirty minutes in order for the governor of Hawaii to come back and say it was a false alarm. The reason he was he took so long to say it's a false alarm because it took him that long to sign into Twitter because he had forgotten his password and and, and he couldn't remember his fucking password. Meanwhile, uh, the state of Hawaii was going war of the worlds batshit while the governor was looking for his Twitter password. I will return to that one and this story. Man charged with DUI after trying to order burrito at bank drive through window. Yep. Here is more stories on uh, this massive volcano blowing off down there in the Philippines. Uh, <clears throat> Good Lord, I'm just, gee, no shit, Sherlock, I'll mention this tomorrow. France says it fell short on greenhouse gas emissions targets. No shit, Sherlock. There you go. Uh, many stories on the flu epidemic this year. Here is, what is Elon Musk up to in the mainstream media? Elon Musk's boring company prepares first public pitch for its tunnel plans. Elon Musk now wants to dig another tunnel under L.A. Uh, Jesus, uh, more shit about Donald Trump. Uh, how about this one? Alaska has never looked more beautiful. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Yep, yep. Uh, wow, no shit, Sherlock. Air pollution is killing millions around the globe every year. No shit, Sherlock. Here is a uh, 18 more people dead in Afghanistan. Already talked about the 29,000 people gunned down in Mexico. Uh... Eyeing China, U.S. moves to strengthen Indonesian defense ties. Yep, yep, yep. Scott Pruitt's attacks on environmental protections hit people of color the hardest. Uh, anyone who does not understand that we have, that we are not solidly into 1984, immigration authorities detain woman on a Greyhound bus after asking everyone for ID as the Border Patrol defends its arrest on a Greyhound bus amid outcry. I mean, it sounds like uh, goddamn Guatemala. Jesus. Uh, this just goes on and on. I realize I'm talking to myself now, guys, but uh, I'm just going to uh, to uh, take this down to the to the uh, bottom. It just never 
changes, Swedish regulators disagree on safety of nuclear waste plan. All right, you got to love it. Melania Trump will not go to Davos with her husband on their wedding anniversary. Yep, yep. As the populist president goes to Davos. Uh, right here is hotel evacuated, stations closed after London gas leak. Jesus. Uh, all right. A new hunt. A new hunt for flight MH370 gets underway. A big gamble to find MH370 begins as U.S. team deploys swarm of robots to find jet in final effort. More stories about the SAG Awards. Uh, let's see. Uh, UN report backs peacekeeping changes in face of death. UN peacekeeping forces need to change the way they operate and not shy away from using force to reverse a worrying trend of escalating fatalities. Talking about those shithole countries in Africa, yes, we're going to kill more people. Uh, we're going to use more force to be peacekeepers. More stories on the SAG awards. Let's go to California. Sewage spill shuts beaches along California's central coast. Nearly five million gallons of sewage spilled in to Monterey County beaches. Uh, here is a snow tornado blowing through the Alps. Uh, global Unemployment down, but working poverty rampant, according to the UN. Let's go to the shithole country of Uganda. Ugandan army says 29 cattle raiders killed in three months. Uh, here is, I think I've already mentioned this, U.S. approves land exchange for road through Alaskan wilderness. Uh, I love this hilarious headline. Do Russia and China stand any chance against the Navy's new aircraft carrier? I think we all know the answer to that. Let's go over there to India. India and Pakistan continue trading fire and blame in Kashmir. World War III. India evacuates 36,000 people from Pakistan border. And again, World War III, India and Pakistan nuclear conflict could be devastating for the whole world. But, uh... Let's see, of course, we should just end. Uh, oh, this keeps going, 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 going. The never-ending 
but of course I'm just going to wind up, um, I'm scrolling as fast as I can. So let's get down to the bottom, uh, to the bottom of the list. I'm going to uh, skip over the 10 or 12 stories on, on the new 2019 SUVs. Let's see, three more plastic and putrid garbage swamp shore as Lebanon's rubbish crisis intensifies. Lebanon's long festering garbage crisis hit a new low this week when a mountain of putrid trash washed ashore on the country's once enviable coast. Oh, shit, then we have Eastern U.S. Cougar declared extinct 80 years after last sighting. Eastern Cougars that once prowled North America from Michigan to South Carolina were officially declared extinct and removed from the U.S. endangered species list on Monday, eight decades after the last concerned, confirmed sighting of the wild feline predator. And we're going to wind up with the number one end times story of the week. How not to hide your pregnancy in an underwear ad. A Kylie Jenner story. I think we're going to do an entire uh, Kylie roundup on Saturday. But anyway, guys, I understand I've been talking to myself for the past 10 minutes, so I need to wrap up uh, this week's uh, walk through the Book of Revelation with the No Shit Sherlock headline of the week, We Are So Fucked. And now I need to get ready for my latest interview with Extinction Radio. So I think that'll be coming out tomorrow night. If you want, if you haven't heard enough of me ranting, I'm going to be talking to my old buddy Mike Farragut on Extinction Radio. So let me get ready for that. For this roundup. Bye guys. <laughs>